you'd like to just introduce yourself, that would be great. Well, I'm Dr Hannah Critchlow, I work at Cambridge University with the BBC Broadcast Naked Scientists team. Um, we do science radio and also live stage events and science shows. Um, and would you like to tell us a little bit about um, anyone who's been particularly inspirational to you as you've sort of started off in your career in science? Well, there's a few people really. First of all is um, TV presenter Johnny Ball. So he did lots of children's science and mathematics television shows. He's actually also the dad to Radio 2 DJ Zoe Ball, uh, who's, who's known in her own right for her musical prowess. And um, yeah, but Johnny Ball did these really eccentric and wacky science demonstrations on television. And that's really how I got introduced to science. Um, I later went on to work in a psychiatric hospital and it was meeting the patients or clients in the hospital. So there's lots of teenagers that had been really affected by mental illness. And they really inspired me to, to try and understand more about the brain um, and, and to try and talk to people about issues to do with the brain as well. So is there anything in particular that kind of really stood out that made some of those experiences particularly inspirational to you? I think it was Johnny Ball's enthusiasm, <laughs> and then in the psychiatric hospital, it was really, um, you see glimmers of the patient's personalities, quite often being hidden and masked by all the medication that they were being given, and because we didn't understand very much about the brain, quite a lot of the treatments weren't particularly good, and so that really made me think, oh, we need to learn more about the brain, use science to do that, in order to help these people. And, um, and then over the last 10, 15 years, there's just been this amazing revolution in neuroscience. There's been these incredible breakthroughs and new technologies that allow us to peer into the brain and to try and grasp the full complexities of it. And there's one professor called Carl Dysoff who's been working uh, over the last 30 years, 20, 30 years, at Stanford University. And he's developed two new techniques, groundbreaking techniques, that basically use the power of light, shining light in at the brain, and using clever genetics as well, um, to basically switch on and then off certain circuits in the brain, a little bit like a light switch. And we've been able to use the information that come up with these techniques to actually switch off symptoms of heroin addiction, and switch off symptoms of um, depression, for example, or obsessive compulsive disorder exactly as you would switch off a light. And, and seeing then how it affects the, the patients and how people are being affected all the time by all these breakthroughs in, in neuroscience and science is inspirational and very encouraging.